What is up, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Tyler, with Tarver Academy. I'm so excited you're here. You're learning with us today. We are getting a little bit better at math, and if you hit subscribe, you can get better not just math, but other stuff too. Rock the quote. We got stuff, we got quotes every day, great quotes. We've got a history lessons. We've got me in Washington, D.C. That's true, we do. Okay, so let's learn uh, today, and without further ado, let's read this word problem. And here we go. So, sorry, I got really excited, and then I like toned it down. My apologies. Here we go. A typical, oh, that's the eraser button. Let's do this. A typical high school student consumes 67.5 pounds of sugar per year. That's gross. It's a lot of sugar. As part of a new nutrition plan, each member of a track team plans to lower the sugar he or she consumes by at least 20% for the coming year. Assuming each track member has consumed sugar at the level of a typical high school student and will adhere to this plan for the coming year, what is the maximum number of pounds of sugar to be consumed by each track team member in the coming year? Okay, let's talk about our important information. The typical high school student consumes 67.5 pounds of sugar a year. That's gross, especially if you're consuming that at one time. That's a lot. Would you like one time a year you use sugar? And you just, that's, oh, that would not be good for your body. Um, as part of the new, don't do that, please. As part of the new nutrition plan, each member of the track team has to lower their sugar by at least 20%. They're lowering it by at least 20%. So whatever it is, we're going down 20% of that sugar. Assuming each track member has consumed sugar at the level of a typical high school student. So cool. These are the same. So we're going to assume all the people on the track team have consumed this many pounds of sugar. Still gross. Okay. Now, uh, brrr, what is the maximum number of pounds of sugar to be consumed by each track member, each team member in the coming year? Okay. All right. Well, there's a couple ways we can work this problem. Um, so, uh, some people would like to use uh, part of the whole, um, they do some proportion stuff. I'm going to show you the way that I do it that I think is the easiest. And if you want to know another way, please tell me in the comments if you prefer something else. Okay? So, we want to we decrease this by 20%. Okay? So, that means we can find 20% of this and subtract it from that. Because if you got the whole... You find out what that percent is and you subtract it out of it. It's like a 20% off sale. This is what you do in your mind when you're doing a sale at a store. Okay, so I need to find 20%. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take 67.5 and I'm going to multiply it times 20%. However, you cannot multiply times a percent. You move the decimal over two places and now it's 0.2. So I'm multiplying 67.5 times... 0.2, 0, but you don't have to put a 0. 13.5, okay? It's, okay, get out of here. Get out of here, get out of here, you calculator. 13.5, know what I said? Yeah, that's exactly what I said. That's what I said. Okay, now, they tried to trick you, and they put 14. You're going to be like, oh, 13.5, I just worked you, I'm done. <laughs> no, that's not what we're doing. We are decreasing 67.5, down 20%. We just found 20% is 13.5. It wants to know what is the max number of pounds of sugar. So we want to know that other 80%. Whoa, goodness gracious. Drop my pencil. Um, what is the other 80%? Okay, now, could you have just started off and done this? Yes, you could have. We're going to finish this, then I'll show you that way as well. I'm going to take my 67.5 pounds, and I'm going to subtract my 20%. Okay, this is my whole. This is the percent decrease. I'm going to subtract those. That would be 54 pounds of sugar. That's gross. Now, I'm going to show you what you could have done. If you know that you want to go down 20%, what percent of your hold do you actually want to keep? It's 80% because 100% minus 20% is 80%. So if I just did 67.5, times the 0.8 of 80%, it's gonna give me 54. You could have done it that way as well. I didn't because I didn't wanna confuse you, but that's what you could have done as well. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Tarver Academy. I'm Tyler. I appreciate your time and the ability that you wanna learn, the ability you wanna get. Please subscribe. We're gonna teach you everything, not just math, but everything else ever. Bye, guys. <laughs>